In this tutorial, you will learn how to run a batch process in background and that is very easy through Excel or maybe VB script. So what you need to do is, so first of all, you need to have a batch script ready. Whatever you want to run, let's say I call it as abc.bat. So I create a text file and then rename it as abc.bat. And when I edit it, let's say I simply want to launch a calculator. So if I go to command prompt and if I run this command, it will open calculator. Now if I run this batch file, again it should open calculator for me. But I do not want to see this particular window. I want to run the process in background. So for that, what we will do is, we will create a sub procedure and here first of all we need to go to that directory so to switch to the directory I will copy the path of the directory and I will use change directory function and in the argument I will specify the path then we will use shell to execute the batch file our batch file name was abc.bat and because we were talk, uh, in the same directory, so there is no need of specifying the complete path. And the next argument is very important, which is actually controlling which window style you want to see, whether you want to go with VB hide. That means there would be no window. You won't be seeing anything on screen. That means the background process or you may choose maximize, minimize or other options. So for instance, I can use VB hide or I can use zero for the same and this is also expecting uh, to uh, use a variable here because it is returning a value here so that value would go in a though we are not using the value just uh, use a variable to get the value and that's all so when we run this program now you won't see that command window it is simply launching the calculator app now this thing can be used to launch the Jenkins at times uh, people face a challenge that they launch Jenkins through war files and suddenly somehow they uh, close the uh, command prompt window and their Jenkins get shut down. So what they need to do is they need to create a batch file. They need to go to that directory where they actually have the Jenkins war file and then pass on the instruction that Java minus jar Jenkins dot war and then simply you need to call this batch file. The name of batch file was run jenkins.bat so run jenkins.bat so before this before running this I will show you that on my local host 8080 port nothing is running right so now I run it see nothing is happening on the screen wait for a few seconds and when you reload the page it should open jenkins so Jenkins is up and running, there is no command prompt window open, but if you go to task manager, you will see that there is a process from, for command prompt, which is invisible, and there is a process for Java. If you kill uh, this process, Jenkins will again go down. So actually there is a process behind it, but we have specifically chosen it to be hidden. So therefore uh, the, the window is not uh, visible to you. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, my name is Kamal and you're watching Extreme Excel.